Hello to you and welcome to the tech for all channel. Usually when there's a new device from Firefly, the expectations are high because of the success around the Firefly 8S series, which was among the best action cameras of 2017 and is still competitive a couple of years after that. Furthermore, Firefly seem to do a wonderful job with their continuous firmware support, which is rarely seen from a budget-oriented Chinese manufacturer. And there we are, dedicating a few minutes of attention to the new Micro Generation 2. Although I presented the Firefly Micro as a possible vlogging solution, it is primarily designed for something slightly different. It is meant to be used with racing drones. For real-time footage coming from the front of the drone, more popular as FPV. But before I show you some use cases, let's dive into the software and the hardware features. I kindly want to first thank Firefly for giving me the chance to test the Micro 2, as well as Ivacy VPN for sponsoring the creation of this episode. Ivacy VPN is among the most trusted VPN services worldwide and is a perfect solution should you want to stay safe from hackers, remain anonymous online and access restricted sites in your region. Using a VPN has never been that easy. Just install the app, choose from the hundreds of available servers and tap for establishing connectivity. You can find more information and a special discount code in the description right below the video. I will start with the most essential. It is very lightweight, 31 grams only. This is more than twice less than most lighter action cameras. If we talk about more serious devices, like the GoPro Hero 7 Black, it weighs 117 grams, almost four times more than the Firefly Micro. So yes, if your current thought is that it might be easily attached to low-cost drones for shooting good footage, that would be right. It will be fine, even with the most affordable, non-brushless solutions and will certainly give you way better footage than the embedded cameras. Arriving in a small, I'd say not very spectacular box, we will find the camera inside with a bracket, ties, silicon protective case, control joystick and charger or video cable. This kind of setup is pretty interesting and kind of exciting and if you're looking for something that is very simple to fine-tune, saying it in front, the Micro 2 ain't it. In terms of hardware, here's what this little camera has to offer. A good chipset supporting up to 2.5K and 30 frames per second and Full HD at 60 frames per second. There is no image stabilization though. A 160 degree field of view lens with f by 2.8 aperture and embedded 600mAh battery which should be giving you around one hour of recording. Micro 2 is also classified as water resistant, which is not entirely right. It is splash proof and seems to be IPX4 certified, which is of course way below the IPX68 that most current smartphones can handle. So if your drone accidentally dives into water and stays there for more than a few seconds, there's a great chance that the camera equipment will also suffer. However, using the silicon case provided in the pack, you can significantly decrease the water impact and potentially increase the survival chances being temporarily placed underwater. And being made out of plastic, the camera doesn't shine with outstanding build quality, which is of course expected given the target to have it as lightweight as possible. There are two buttons for operation, one for switching between modes and one to start stop recording and respectively power on and off the camera, there's a micro SD slot, the port for charging and the port for the controller. Right, let's explore the most basic operation, charging, which happens using this cable, being connected to USB power source. Nothing disturbing or too difficult as a start, besides the lack of standard ports, this here is not micro USB port, although partially looks like it. So you're bound to this cable if you want to charge or connect to a display. There are three different modes. 1080p recording, the LED is blue, 2.5K where the LED is red, and photo mode with both the red and blue LEDs on. Switching between these modes happens by pressing the mode button for more than three seconds and hearing a beep afterwards, so it's not that difficult. There are ways to fine-tune the picture and the settings, 
but can be a little challenging. And this is where it may attract most of the enthusiastic drone fans. The camera supports FPV, meaning that if you add a transmitter, it can stream in real time to FPV goggles. Quite great to mention is the latency. Firefly promise around 40 to 50 milliseconds delay, which sounds quite awesome. It can also measure external battery voltage in real time and show it on the OSD without additional components to be installed. But in order to enable any of these, you will need to get the configuration menu. Going back to the charging cable, you probably noticed the yellow port. It's meant to connect to a monitor or TV and is analog video output. Connect the control board. And here we are getting access to the menus, choices for the main shooting resolution, color modes, fine tuning the sharpness. It is quite great to see so many features and options being supported. I couldn't believe there also is a time lapse function, didn't really try it, but definitely a nice to see thing. Both PAL and NTSC are supported, and it is amazing how many picture tuning options are added to this little device. Truth is that perhaps most of these, except the drone and FPV related, you will likely never need, but still nice to have. It's true that user experience is not great, especially from the perspective of someone trying to use it more like action camera, but for people that are anyways comfortable with connecting to consoles, config UIs and drone fine-tuning, just about right. Despite the form factor, there also is a microphone embedded into this small drone camera or action camera. So yes, the Firefly Micro 2 has an internal microphone and the quality is not bad, certainly far away from what GoPro Hero 7 Black would offer, for example. But definitely not something to ignore and it can easily put to shame a number of action cameras where they did not pay that much attention to the mic quality. It has some lows, it has some uh, highs, which are a relatively good frequency response. Uh, the levels are fine, so this is what you can overall expect from Firefly Micro 2 in terms of microphone quality. And if you believe that the footage is too stable, don't worry, I'm using a gimbal, there's no image stabilization. However, due to the lightweight construction, it's quite hard to attach it to a gimbal. The best solution I managed to come up with to get it on top of another action camera in order to satisfy the minimum weight requirement. I promised you a few more use cases, and besides super smooth gimbal attached footage, drones, which are the primary goal, and I'm sure you will see a lot of footage from racing drones, so let me demonstrate how it looks from weaker toy grey models. I'd say not too bad and definitely much better than almost any camera drone in the price range of up to $150. Could be used as an action camera, with of course certain limitations, also as a dash camera, having used mostly the standard white balance and sharpness settings, as well as the default color gamma, may I ask you for your opinion? How do you find the video quality out of this $50 camera? Do you think it is comparable with much more expensive solutions? Keep in mind that the Firefly Micro 2 is meant to compete with GoPro Hero Session 4 or Runcam, both of which are primarily used with drones, so when rating the video quality, we should not forget that a big slice of the development and manufacturing costs have gone in direction drone community compliance, and it would be great to see what you think of it. As usual, you can find a nice coupon to order yours with discounts in the description below the video, and below that description is the place where we can talk about it. So don't forget to mention what you think of the video quality and the performance, and I'll make sure to be around in case of questions. Thank you a lot for being my guests. If you like the atmosphere, subscribe, and I'll meet you in the next episodes. My name is Michael, and I'm looking forward to see you here at the tech for all channel.